here's the head. There is, uh, we've got the seat for if you're showering underway, uh, the toilet. Let's see if I can hold this. Uh, it, it, you pump in uh, water from outside and then you pump into, from, from the toilet you pump into a holding tank. There's another door here that goes uh, to the engine for if you need to work on that side of the engine. There's a fairly large storage here. We have our garbage can in here. This is a three gallon jug of water. And there's space back, be quite a bit of space back behind and another shelf um, in here uh, for bathroom supplies. Um, behind the cabinets here, there is storage all in here for shampoo, soap, anything that you might need. These cupboards open up. We've got storage in there. Uh, sink. More storage underneath the sink for cleaning supplies or what have you. And we have a shower here in the head. It's attached to the sink. Here's the um, shower head. To shower, you lift this up and it redirects the water up into the shower head. Uh, and there's a drain down here that drains the shower into the bilge and the bilge pump pumps the, the gray water over. And if I close the door to the head, there's a, there's a latch here in case you're underway. Um, I can kind of give you a rear view or looking from the V-berth back. Um, you can see dinette, galley, aft uh, berth and the space for the head, the nav table, and the settee. This is V-Birth with the cushions. I'll just kind of give you a, a scan. The fabric is in good, really good condition. Um, and this lifts up. We don't do this very often, but this lifts up and latches. And you put this cushion in here, you can sleep two people up here. Um, in the V-berth. There's also a nice, um, sunny here, uh, front hatch window, which we have made a screen for. Um, there are magnets on the side of the hull here, four magnets. Um, there's another one. And the screen uh, just snaps on the magnets. Um, that keeps all the bugs out. We haven't had any bug issues here in Mexico. This is the front V-berth without the cushions showing storage. There is a storage container here which we use for uh, spare parts and tools. And there is another storage container here which is full. Um, but this container runs from this line to here which is about two feet. Um, and from side to side all the way down the whole hull. So this is actually a fairly big uh, storage container. We've got uh, fowleys and jackets and extra bedding and everything up in here. There's a uh, storage uh, bar up here. A coat closet. Um, oh, sorry. Coat closet. And on the other side, uh, there's a closet with shelves for clothing towels and linens and things. There are also uh, cubbies on each side uh, which we have put shoes in. Uh, there's one. Let's close this. Close the door. On uh, this side. The fire has quite a bit of light. There's, I'm just giving you a, a tour here of the windows in the cabin. There's one up above. All of the windows on this boat that open have screens. Um, and most all except for the overhead windows, all the windows except for the overhead windows have these uh, shades as well, which really helps on hot days. Um, one other thing that's good to know about this boat if you're in the Pacific Northwest, there is a forced air diesel heater. This here is the thermostat and the on-off switch. The diesel comes in through two, uh, two ducts. One is down here under the berth. There is one duct there that silver, uh, the silver guy opens up. 
there we go and the uh, air will come in this is the um, battery selector um, the other place that the forced air the other place that the forced air comes in is underneath the nav table there is a uh, a duct right there as well. So you turn the heater on, it actually gets pretty warm in here pretty quickly. We used it quite a bit on the Oregon coast. There is also quite a bit of extra storage here. This is on the, the table. There's a silverware rack and then a fairly deep cubby for glasses or wine glasses or extra silverware, whatever you have. Um, we do have an ice maker on board, a, a tabletop ice maker that happens to fit right underneath the table and doesn't really get in the way. So that's, that's where we've put it. Um, give you a view here of the floor. Uh, it's fiberglass and wood, and the uh, wood is in sections. Uh, these are the two doors, uh, well, two of the three doors to go down to the bilge. This is the third uh, panel that lifts up to go down to the bilge. This is the floor in the galley. And that's a big empty space underneath the aft berth. More storage. Here is the bilge. We uh, we have a cork in there separating this off. Um, this this part of the bilge is completely dry, and we do use that for storage. Uh, here's the bilge pump. The shower and the ice box both drain into the bilge, um, and this pumps it over. So this is this is where um, the water is coming in. Um, and then here's a section of the bilge which the bilge pump float switch. So 